think I'll use the dark blue over here. A little bit of pink. Okay. I think for some reason I want a little bit of pink showing. And we're going to start with the purpley end so that I end with pink. But I just get that in there and get it started. And then I start to do my spiral going counterclockwise. So if you want to just practice, one way to practice is just doing spirals. I think they're interesting, just on their own. But just get creative. Just draw something. Practice it first, like I said, on a plain piece of paper. But then just, just do it. It's a lot of fun. You can show off your creativity. It's very unique. Here we go. I like that pink. All right. Now, when you have a different color like that, you can't just, you know, zip it right back into the rest of it. So I have to keep it on the outside, but I have to make sure that I tack it down. And you see, I kind of I kind of just scoop it over a little bit. But you want to, um, you do want to be careful and go up and down as much as you can. You don't want to kind of go at an angle because that is how you can break your needle. All right, that's, that's the one thing you do have to be careful of. And you're more likely to break the needle if you're working with material that's harder to work with. Like when I've done it on a tougher material like duck or a jean material, yeah, you're more likely to break a needle. So I just choose not to do that most times because I'm doing it for fun, not to irritate myself. That's nice. I like that. I like how those two are using different colors. Okay, and then what I've also got, I've got two little, I put two little dots, so I'm going to fill those in. And I think one of them will be, hmm, I think I'll put a yellow over here, which here's a little one already cut. This is when I go back and use some of my pieces. And so these are going to be basically dots, and all I do is these are a little bit, you know, basically you're just rolling and wrapping right on top. You're not going out around your circle. That's how I do these. You just keep keep going on top. And then um, the one thing you can do if you're not careful is you can keep popping the hole in the same spot to the point where you can put a hole in it. But that doesn't happen very easy. And I guarantee you'll only do it once. So it doesn't require you to to keep going over it, keep going over it. But like what I'm doing right here, I need to, you know, get it on there and maybe start poking it where I'm only in the yarn, not so much the felt, so that I don't put a hole in it. But like I said, it's very forgiving. So right now I'm just popping it so I'm getting the yarn. Okay, so there is, that's how that looks. And then, you know, I think I might use the yellow in the circle. I think I will. I think that'll look nice. That's what I'm going to put in the center. But what to put off over there? Do I want pink? I think I will do a little pink dot. So that's about how much I'm, I don't, we'll see how that goes, but that's about how much I'm using for these little dots. And let's see. Get her going. And just keep spiraling up in the same spot, basically. I don't want to go out too far because I wanted the big spirals and then the little. And you know what? Actually, I probably don't even need this much. So I'm going to cut most of that off. I'll use it for something else. And then I'll finish up this spiral. You can see how it starts giving me more resistance and that's my clue that I need to start not going through the felt and go only through the yarn as best I can. But basically you're making a little, just a little knot almost, a little, little dot. I like those. I like it because these have dimension. 
That's cute. I like that. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is I, I'm going to put I like that yellow idea in the center, and I am going to make that a spiral, so uh, the center of her flower. So I start in the center, get it going, and I'm I want the spiral to show. So I'm not going to go over it. I'm going to keep going around it and tacking it down as I go. And that's going to center. It's going to fill in the center of my flower and kind of anchor it. And I like it because it's got. It's. I like things symmetrical. You know, as much as they, without having to measure things. <laughs> that's how I rock and roll. And I like that the yellow is there at the top, and this kind of it's keep it's this centers things for me. This is not going to be exact. If you're if you're going with a multicolor like this, and it's a design that is random, you know, it's only going to be so symmetrical. But I want it to feel. I want it to flow nicely. I want um, the colors to interact nicely. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm just slipping it in all around until I hit the orange spots. That's basically what I'm doing here. I hope that you're picking this up. I hope this video is showing all of this. All right, and I'm done. I don't want to keep going over it because I want I want some of that spiral design to show. All right, so I'm going to cut that off and then Okay, yeah, that looks cute. I like it. Now, I might come back. I don't know. I want this to be a quick video, but if I wanted to have more dimension, all you have to do is just keep spiraling up, spiraling up, spiraling up, and it, it that that area would pop up. It would just be higher than the rest, and you do it. You would treat it more like these little dots as opposed to these circles. Okay, where you just you build up instead of out. You can do the same thing if you want to add dimension, okay? But I like I like this so far, so I'm just going to leave it alone. I'm just going to keep rolling. Next, I'm going to do the outline of her, and I think I'm going to have her in orange because I like that color. That's going to be the theme, I guess. And that means I need to cut a little bit more off, so I shall. All right, so I'm gonna go here, and then you know that should get it, but we'll see. You know, get all the way around her. So what I'm gonna do? Let's see. I'm gonna try to. What I'm gonna do is uh, what I'm trying to decide right now is can I make it all the way around her in one shot? without having to go back over and the answer is no not not I don't think so so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with I'm gonna do her in two sections I'm gonna do this section with one piece of yarn and then I'm gonna do this section that way I'm not overlapping because I want I want her skin tone I want the outline of her body to just be one I think maybe two but I want it to be the same top and bottom so I'm gonna start Where right her here meets her neck start there and then I'm gonna follow along my lines that's it that's all you do this is really really simple and you can decide whether or not you want to fill in the lines because I'm not really sure that I'm going to I just want to keep moving and see how I like her You see how I just take my finger and I just keep feeding, feeding the yarn ahead of 